From the chips in your phone to breakthroughs in medicine, nanotechnology plays a role in it all. But what does nano really mean? It's nothing mystical. Just like we use millimeters to communicate the sizes of small things instead of meters, the nanoscale is simply a way to describe things that are incredibly tiny. But here's the twist. What's special isn't the scale itself, it's that matter or objects this small can behave very differently than its larger version. Take for example the precious metal gold. A gold bar is shiny, yellow and unreactive. However, gold nanoparticles are much more reactive and have different colors based on their size. You can check out my NanoSensor Basics playlist to learn how gold nanoparticles are used in pregnancy tests. So, just how small is nano? Let's compare. If you are watching this on a smartphone, say an iPhone 16 Pro Max, it's about 8.25 millimeters thick. Within that thickness, you could stack about 165,000 nanoparticles, each just 50 nanometers wide. So if you thought your phone was thin, there are objects thousands of times smaller and at that scale, different properties are unlocked. So the nanoscale is really just a ruler for the incredibly tiny, but it's also where ordinary matter starts to show extraordinary behavior.